Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Uh, ben, arguably one of the more famous uh, intros to one of the most famous passages in all the Bible, found in Psalm 23. And this Psalm is famous because it talks a lot about things we deal with, fear and doubt and anxiety and these types of things. And I also think that one of the big things it does is it paints the, this picture of the Lord as a shepherd, which yeah. is a, a huge theme throughout scripture. It is, in fact, today, in, 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 even in biblical times, you think about what it means to be a shepherd, it was this relentless, rugged task, mm -hmm. right? To Nobody wanted to grow up to be a shepherd. That job was given to the youngest in the family because mm -hmm. they couldn't, <laughs> couldn't fight yeah. against it. They yeah. got sent out there. We know when Samuel went to anoint the next king of Israel, it was the youngest who was picked, and they, he wasn't even in the lineup because he was out having to deal with the yeah. sheep. A 24-hour-a-day job, uh, sheep would wander, they'd find trouble at night, wolves, predators, things like that would come after them, and it was just a really hard job. Sure in the heat and in the cold, and they always had to be there to, to be the protector and to be the provider for the sheep. Yeah, and I think also like just qualities of sheep is that make it easy. Their sheep are difficult. We know that they're stubborn. Some people call it pig-headed, I'll call it sheep-headed, right? <laughs> sheep -headed. It's just this idea that they, they're not the best at making decisions for themselves. They wander off, they kind of drift, and then they find themselves in trouble and they're, they become vulnerable, right? There's these things that keep them in danger. Mm -hmm. And I think this picture is also true of us. Yeah. We get painted as the sheep in scripture, but. Time and time again, God is identified as this shepherd and he serves us with patience and he serves us amidst our stubbornness. He guides us when we wander off and when we find trouble. And I think ultimately he's our form of safety. He's a form of provision. He mm -hmm. provides us with nourishment and blessing. Yeah. These themes that we find in shepherds, we find in the Lord. For sure. It's a huge theme. In fact, Jesus himself describes the heart of God as a shepherd mm -hmm. in the parable of Luke in, in chapter 15, starting in verse 1. He says, now the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to him. And the Pharisees and the scribes grumbled and said, this man receives sinners and eats with them. So Jesus told them this parable, what man of you having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the 99 in the open country and go after the one that is lost until he finds it. And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors saying to them, rejoice with me. For I have found my sheep that was lost. And just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous mm, who need no repentance. What a cool, what a cool story and a cool picture. And this is the heart of God, the heart of a shepherd, mm. the one who loves all his sheep. Yeah. I, I think that's the picture we want to see, right? Like we want to, we want to think about this. And so it's interesting, it raises these questions of like, what do we think about this sheep analogy, this mm -hmm. shepherd analogy? When we think of God, we think of ourselves as sheep, we think of God as shepherds mm -hmm. in scripture. Uh, it's a cool thing to think about. So we'd love to hear maybe some of even your feedback. Like what are some of the things that you think about when you think of this imagery of God as the shepherd of us, as the sheep? What are some of your thoughts? We'd love to hear how you think about it.